In fact, I'm going to go in and see Peter on Friday. Give him a bit of a boost before the trial. Egg and watercress, OK? Great. Right, I mean, the important thing now is that he stays positive. Egg and no watercress. Cheers. Not let everything get on top of him. Spotted toad and watercress. Thank you. In fact, I dug out a couple of self-help books for him. Now, uh, I wonder where I put them. Uh, yeah, it's all right, Dad. I mean, we get the message. How to stay positive in prison. How to smile through your trial. Shall we see? Oh, that's all you go on about these days. Oh, forgive me for caring about my son. Hey, I care and all. I just don't keep banging on about Maybe it. Maybe we should change the subject. Well, no, I'm sorry, but I think it's important. The trial's on Monday, in case you'd forgotten. Well, how could I forget when you keep giving us daily bulletins? Look, you're boring him and all now. I wish we hadn't bothered coming home for our lunch. Am I the only one taking this seriously? How dare you! You know I'm worried sick. It's all I can think about, and Tracy's right. Bringing it up all the time isn't helping. Oh. Mm. Sorry. Um, I should have thought. Look, why don't we just try and have a rule? Just for today. Nobody mentions the trial. Suits me. Look, it's going to be really full on next week. You could do with a day off. You're right. Are you OK? <sighs> I'll tell you what. I'll cook us all a nice dinner tonight. Oh. Yeah. And how about your signature trifle for afters? <sighs> Go on. <laughs> I've sent out 30 job applications now. Most of them haven't even bothered replying. That's terrible, if you don't mind me saying. Politeness costs nothing. Mm, I agree. I told you, unit is a waste of time. All that hard work and for what? Oh, so that's your excuse for lying around doing nothing. It's called a gap year. Yeah, and in your case, the gap's between here and here. You need to do something with your life. Oh, Gary, come and save me. Ali is doing me head in. Oh, she's gone into nag mode. Typical woman. Do you want to punch him or shall I? Yeah, we could take it in turns. I really enjoyed last night, by the way. Good. Should come round again, help us out, because we'll be eating that tagine all week. Yeah, I should be going. Hope it wasn't something I said. <laughs> Look who's here. Uh, I was just having some lunch. I'll be through in a minute. All right, no rush. Come on, don't let me stop you. Mm. Well, no appetite anyway. I suppose being dumped is one way of losing weight. Mm, never worked for me. <laughs> Sean's gutted. Yeah, well, he did me a favour. Showed me Tony's true colours. He's only got one, yellow. He's fine when everything's going his way. As soon as there's a problem, though, he likes it. I suppose you did warn me. Yes. Anyway, let's not talk about him. Um, do you fancy going out tonight? I'm not really in the mood. Yeah, we will be after a few bodies. Hmm. And then I'll start flirting with somebody. And the whole thing starts over again. No, no thanks. Well, you won't. I'll stop you. I'll throw my bag in the way or tell them that you've got halitosis. <sighs> Come on, we don't have to be late. All right, then. A quiet drink and a chat. Definitely a bloke-free zone. Oh, suits me. Hey! <laughs> it's just everyone keeps banging on about the flipping trial. Yes, I know. Tell me about it. My workers have been in and out of here all day, checking them all right. It's broken eggshells lying in my office floor. Come in. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, come in, now. I just wanted to bring you that. Ooh. Only when Julie came in before, I thought we'd run out. Then I found that one. I hadn't spotted it at the back. No, that's nice. You shouldn't have come over specially. Well, I, I, I wanted to see you anyway. I received a letter the other day to confirm that I, I was needed as a witness for the prosecution. Oh, right. OK. I'm assuming you did, too. Mm. I, I just wanted to check how you were. I'm all right, you know. Because if you do need someone to talk to... She's got me, OK? Yeah, I'm sorry, of course, yeah. No, no, that's a really, really nice offer. And thank you, I'd much rather talk to you than that grumpy beggar. Right, well, I, I, I'd better be off. Well, thank you. Thanks, Roy, for coming and Thanks for the cake. 
Don't you ever speak to Roy like that again. I was just trying to shut him up. You, you said yourself you were sick no, of no, hearing about it. No, no, that doesn't give you the right to be rude to him. I don't even know what you're so stressed about anyway. You're not on the flipping stand. Oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll just go, shall yeah, I? Yeah, why don't you? Are you planning on doing any work this afternoon? In a bit. Oh, honestly, I don't see what's so important. When did this come? Last week. Well, you never told me. So they want you to be a witness for the prosecution, then? Yeah, that's what it says. Right, well... I suppose we knew it would come in. I wasn't worried about it, though. I'm not worried about that. I've got bigger things to worry about. Like what? My mum not told her. No, why? What? This! What? That! That mole there! It's not a mole, it's a freckle. It's a mole! And what's more, it wasn't there before. I know that. So? 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 I could have skin cancer and all you can oh, see. Oh, Steve, for heaven's sake. I've been Googling it. Well, that's the last thing you should be doing. It makes you imagine all sorts. I'm not imagining it, though, am I? Because it's there, look! And what's more, I know why it's there. I'll stick that arm out the window when I'm driving. And I'll roll my sleeves up when it's sunny. It makes perfect sense. It makes no sense. Oh, you're in denial. No, I'm in reality, unlike you. I, I take all the risks. Look, pale skin, blue eyes. Yes, along with millions of other people who do not have skin cancer. Red hair. <laughs> Steve, you haven't got red hair. Me dad is Irish, Michelle. There's bound to be red hair in the family somewhere. Oh, you are being ridiculous. Denial. Why, Bobby, you don't have to <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? You know it's supposed to be yours tonight, remember? Yeah, I know, but he wanted to show you his new shoes. Oh, Ooh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, they're lovely. You are going to look a right Bobby Dazzler in them. I couldn't resist. He pointed at them. He points at everything. Dogs, flowers, cars. He went up with the house built up to the rafters. He said shoes. Really? Yeah, I swear he did. Jake, say shoes. Go on, say shoes for your mum. Well, he did, honest. He probably just sneezed. He'll be saying it all night once you're not there. Oh, well, if he does, tape it and I'll have it analysed. Mm. Go on, give mummy a kiss goodbye. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> now, you be good for daddy. Hey. See ya. See you later. Away. Oh, cheers. See ya. See ya. Aww. And that's two extra ones for being such a good boy while we were waiting. Wow. It's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. And the doctor gave me this. Oh, <laughs> yeah? Win-win today, pal. Can I go play now? Of course. <laughs> See, said it'd be OK, didn't I? Even you got some praise. Mm, do you think I could get a star as well? I think it warrants one, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put kettle on. Oh, he needs a tablet. It's all right, I'll get it. Well, the box is locked. So where's the key? You still don't trust me, do you? No, of course I do. Oh, I see. You keep it on you, that in case I tear the house apart looking for it. Don't be daft, here. No, you better do it. Make sure you count how many there are, just to be sure. Kylie, where are you going? Out. In case I get tempted again, you know. I'm sorry for snapping at you, William. You're right. I'm sorry for snapping at Roy. You're, you're right, I shouldn't have. I reckon we're all feeling the strain, aren't we? <laughs> Don't come for a drink. Oh, we're, we're just about to have our tea. Oh, OK. Have you eaten? No, no, I was working late. I'll grab a packet of crisps or something. Oh, look, you don't want to start drinking on an empty stomach. Why, why, why don't you just stay here and have your tea with us? No, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you've been more than welcome. Oh, it's you. Don't worry, I'm just going. No, no, look, it's been ages since you've been around. Stay, please. I really don't want to intrude, Ken. As far as I'm concerned, you're still family. Uh, yeah, well, strictly speaking... Well, that settles it, then. I'll, uh, 
I'll lay another place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Going anywhere nice? Just in a town? Right, we'll be to a certain pub, would it? No. Such a liar. What's it to you, anyway? It's none of your business. Because I'm your mate. Or oh, some mate calling me a liar. You're as bad as David always thinking the worst of me. Or maybe we're just trying to look out for you. Oh, well, I don't need looking out for. I can take care of myself, thanks. Mm, looks like it. What? Has it got dog and gun on the front? It doesn't have to, Kylie. It's written all over your face. There. You happy now? Where are you going? Anywhere, so long as it's not here. Ah, that was really good. Yes, it was. <laughs> the mashed potatoes were perfect. Yeah, yeah, they were uh, really light and fluffy. So, how's the flat coming on? Oh, um, yeah, it's great. Moving Monday. I can't wait. Mm. Well, it's all right for some. I bet it's going to be all gilt edge mirrors and sheepskin rugs. Well, it might be if you live there, but luckily for me, you don't. Are uh, you, uh, you having a flat warming? Um. I didn't really think it was the best time, really. No. No, of course not. Right, well, I'll uh, just get some of these cleared away. You know what? I think I should go. No, 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 no. You can't go yet. You haven't had your pudding. And Deirdre's made a special trifle. Oh. I can't miss that then, can I? Hello? Yeah? Yeah, I'll accept the call. It's Peter. Hello. Well, nothing much. We're just having our tea. With your ex, as it happens. What do you want to do that for? All right, fine. He wants to speak to you. Oh, what are you doing? I'm going to go and freshen up. Oh, the flaming cheek. Leave it, Trace. I thought you couldn't work tonight. Yeah, Jake's in bed, so I thought I'd come put a bit of time in. The deck of them. Keeps the trainers clean. You big wuss. <laughs> anyway, you can uh, get off now if you want. No, that's all right. I'll give you a hand. No, you go. You've done enough. OK. If you're sure. Positive. You come in. I'll just finish up here first. Sweet. See you tomorrow? Yeah. Glad you still. I've been trying to get you on your own all day. Oh, what? You think I'm easy now, is that it? No, I just wanted to talk, that's all. Yeah, well, there's nothing to say. Apart from it should never have happened. Well, you seemed okay with it the other night. It's too complicated. We're totally different people. Well, I'm sorry if I've not had a university education. I didn't mean that. We're from different backgrounds. And besides, you've got a wife and kid. We're not married. That was good as. Yeah, well, we've split up, so I'm free to do what I want. Yeah, well, I'm not. Come on, it's the 21st century. You've got no idea, do you? Your dad's going out with Leanne. Yeah, and half the family hate him for it. OK, I'll talk to him. No, you won't. You'll just forget all about it. Please. Sorry, I can't. No, well, you're going to have to, because that's what I want. I don't believe you. Oh, please, just leave it. For my sake. I can't find the hundreds and thousands. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine without them. No, it won't. Well, I'll help you look. Sit down. You're right. Oh, well, at least she's OK. I mean, don't worry about our Peter. I'm sorry. Look, Peter may have killed Tina, but that doesn't mean you have to blank him. Oh, drop it, Trace. It's like denying a dying man his last request, isn't it? I mean, she could have at least spoken to him. Tracy, we're not supposed to mention the P word, remember? It was the T word, actually. She started it. It wasn't my fault he rang. What is the T word, anyway? Trial. Oh, sorry. No good. Just have to manage without. Ah, oh, that looks lovely. It was a few lousy words. It would have cost you now. If I don't want to speak to him, I don't have to. I don't know what's got to do with you, anyway. He's my brother. The jelly hasn't set. Well, then you speak to him. And while you're at it, you can give him a few tips on how to get off. Oh, oh you sure cheeky cow! Oh, can we all please it just can look? What? It doesn't matter! Yes, it does! Jelly shouldn't run. It should wobble. 
<laughs> Deirdre! Oh, well, thanks for that. Don't blame her. I'll go. Oh, uh, look. Oh, great. Choose her over my mum. Look, if you're that worried about it, then go to the doctor, but I'm sure he's going to say it's fine. He's not still banging on about that mole, is he? What mole? Oh, don't ask. Does that look dangerous to you? Well, only if you put me in the eye with it. Oh, I get that checked out. See? See? Yeah, well, I agree, actually. Just maybe you could get that hypochondria checked out at the same time. No, you can't be too careful. My great aunt found a mole, ignored it. She was dead six months later. Mind you, she was 87. She did have pneumonia. Well, I saw this thing on telly once about this guy, right? His mole started off, it was this big. By the end of it, it looked like he was wearing a backpack under his T-shirt. Oh! Look, it is just a freckle, OK? You're worrying for nothing, honestly. Hi! You've got all dressed up. I feel really dowdy now. Oh, are you to go now? Well, can I come? I'm just going to go for a quiet drink, that's all. Stuff that. Last thing I want to do is sit and talk about him all night. No, we are going clubbing. <gasps> so can I come? Of course you can. The more the merrier. Is he? What about you? Oh, no, Todd. Is this film morning catch on telly tonight? Yeah, with Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. Me too. I thought I'd be home in time. No chance. Anyway, you never know. You might find your own Brad Pitt tonight. That's if I don't find him first. <laughs> <laughs> You need to get away for a while, love. You know, just till all this is over. Why don't you ring Bev, see if you can go and stay? God, I need to be at the trial. Look, Peter's already said he thinks it'd be better if he didn't come. And it's not going to help him if he sees how upset you are. But what about you? No, I'll be fine. Besides, if I don't have to worry about you, I'll be able to focus more on Peter. <laughs> All right, I'll run you. This is all Carla's fault. You should never have persuaded her to stay. Funny how it's everyone's fault but yours. Why? I was only sticking up for my brother, and it's not my fault Mum freaked out over the stupid trifle. Yeah, well, she's just been under a lot of stress. You know, the, this trial and all that business with Liz. What business with Liz? Well, her and Tony splitting up. Your mother feels like she's responsible. Well, that is ridiculous. I mean, what's it got to do with my mum? Well, uh, she asked Liz to go and see Jim a couple of weeks ago to get him to leave Peter alone. And apparently, Tony found out and wasn't very pleased. Always comes down to Jim, doesn't it? Every flaming time. Does Peter know about this? No. And it's best we keep it that way. He's got enough to deal with. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Shopping. What? I've got this top for Max, look. And I got one of them chunky jigsaws for Lily. I mean, I know she's too young for it yet, but still. Kyla. And I got this for you. Do you like it? Yeah, it's great. I've got loads of other stuff too, I'll show you. Look, can we just sit down first and talk? Look, I'm sorry I stormed off, but it's over now. No, it's not. We need to have a chat about the tablets thing. I know you was hurt, right? And I'm sorry. So look. Put the key in here, all right? So we both know where it is. You don't have to. I don't blame you for not trusting me. But I do, all right? I do trust you. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I do love you, you know. And the kids. I love you all to bits. I know you do, but... You are OK, aren't you? It's just... I get the feeling sometimes you're not happy. Of course I am. Everything's fine, honest. I can't believe the nerve of Peter. You did right not to speak to him. Oh, yeah, but I didn't mean to upset Deirdre. It was Tracy more than you. I shouldn't let her get to me. She's a master of it. I should know. Mm. And you're going to be her husband soon. There'll be no escaping it. It's going to be tiny little pointy darts sticking out your head all day no, long. Oh, she's different with me. Yeah, she is. I do actually think she loves you. That's well, the effect I have. I can turn water into wine if the need arises. Well, that will come in handy for your wedding. 
Speaking of which, I, uh, I need to ask you a favour. Mm, go on. Will you be my best man? <laughs> Are you serious? Well, I lost touch with all my mates when I went to prison, didn't I? And I, I know you're my sister, but you're sort of like my best mate. You big softy. Yeah, of course I will. Hmm. If only because I know what a wine trace, you'll probably told her yet. Nope. Can I be there when you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I quite fancy myself in the top end tails. Seriously, though, I'd be on it. I would. Never got through all this stuff without you. You're worried about the trial, aren't you? Oh, I thought I was doing a good job. I had a smile on to crack my face. Well, you were, but I just, I know you too well, didn't I? Going over everything again, in it. Peter's affair, Valentina, Valentina like that. I just feel like running away, you know. Yeah, me too. But we'll get through this, and then Peter will be out of your life forever. If you missed ITV's brand new drama, Grandchester, it's available to watch anytime on ITV Player. And we've more drama for you this week as the detective is back with a fresh new sidekick. Lewis returns Friday at nine. Coming up tonight with a host of famous faces, we've Celebrity Squares, next. <laughs>